hyperbaric ozone therapy. Many people confuse it with hyperbaric oxygen therapy. In hyperbaric oxygen therapy, what happens is the patient is made to lie inside a glass tube-like structure and the oxygen is pumped into that twice or thrice the atmospheric pressure and the treatment is effected. Or there is a big chamber where the patient can sit inside and be put under a high pressure of oxygen. But hyperbaric ozone is totally different where we have a ozone generator and that generates a high pressure ozone and which is pumped into the system through a special mechanism. Let me first explain how it is being done. This is based on a concept which is called as major autohemotherapy. Here what happens is the patient is made to lie down and we attach a vacuum bottle, special vacuum bottle, a German bo uh, uh, manufactured uh, bottle and this is attached to the patient through a specific special IV tube. This bottle is a vac being a vacuum bottle, the moment we attach it to, to the vein as an intravenous drip sort of a thing, the body is because of the vacuum inside the bottle sucks the blood from the body, from the vein and collects about 200 ml of blood, pure blood into the bottle. Then we stop the suction by closing and then using this special machine called Ozone 2000 which is made by a company in Germany called as Zotsman and Co. And this company makes one of the best ozone machine and this ozone machine is called as the Mercedes of the ozone machines. And this ozone machine generates a very highly purified ozone at 70 gamma and it is then sent into the blood in the blood which has been collected in the vacuum bottle and into the blood and it is mixed with the blood. Now then what happens is the same machine generates uh, oxygen at a very high pressure at close to about one atmospheric pressure more than one atmospheric pressure and is being sent into the bottle through a specific tube creating a high pressure area inside the vacuum bottle and because of this pressure the blood is pushed into the body again after it is being mixed with the ozone it is being pushed into the body see it is not like unlike the un normal iv drip we don't make the blood flow we push the blood so we do, don't no, not uh, draw the blood we suck the blood at a very high speed using the vacuum so there is a very fast sucking of the blood into the bottle vacuum bottle about 200 ml then the ozone is uh, mixed with that and pushed into that then a high atmospheric pressure is created into the bottle using the oxygen gas and it is pushed into the blood so this cycle of one sucking and pushing is called as one pass similar to that about 10 times we are doing this and this method is called as 10 pass hyperbaric ozone therapy this is a very safe method in the hands of a qualified trained medical doctor we cannot do uh, make make it to do with an uh, uh, unqualified people or uh, who are not trained to do that right not because it is uh, uh, tricky or critical but it has to be done in a perfect controlled setting when we draw the blood the blood when it goes into the bo bottle and when it comes out naturally any blood that is coming out it gets clotted so to avoid this we add a few very minimal quantity of heparin to that to avoid the clotting mechanism but for this heparin which is acting as an anticoagulant absolutely that there is no mixing of anything for that matter into the blood except for the oxygen which has been converted into o uh, ozone that is O2 is converted to O3 and this O3 and oxygen mixture is pumped into the blood blood is ozonated and then being pushed inside you can also see that when we start the blood will be dark brown in color and when the oxygen the ozone is mixed it becomes a bright red and being pushed into that all these process takes about max of about three minutes to four minutes and maybe maximum five minutes we do it slowly so we do about 10 times the same thing within a span of 50 minutes to one hour and the patient after that is can go back to work and without any problem whether there is no downtime and the patient can be sent back home 
with a proper bandage. Now, what is the use of this hyperbaric ozone therapy? Because many times what happens is oxygen utilization is deficient, which is the cause for most of the chronic degenerative diseases, neurodegenerative diseases, conditions like serious conditions like cancer, chronic fatigue syndrome, unexplained body pains, and uh, macular degeneration. Many, many, many diseases we can use this hyperbaric ozone therapy and get phenomenal results. Hyperbaric ozone therapy is a very safe treatment, very novel method being practiced in many places in Europe and in the United States and it has been proved to be very, very safe. The most important part of this hyperbaric ozone therapy is by research they have found out that hyperbaric ozone therapy helps in triggering stem cells in the body. It has been proven and it, there is a paper presented on this. So hyperbaric ozone therapy is not only helping in recovering a degenerative disease, it also produces regeneration, meaning that it produces enormous quantity of stem cells, which is very, very good for the body. Natural way of generating the stem cells. So hyperbaric ozone therapy can be tried for everyone, but we normally don't advise it for pregnant women as well as children. Mainly it is done for adults at, of any age. Very old people who have a compromised heart, who have very severe hypertension, who have pulmonary hypertension, those people and people who have a bleeding disorder, we try to do, uh, avoid this. But for that, it can be used very safely and at Concept Hospital, we do this in a very controlled environment by experienced people. It is practiced in India in very, very few places and one of the few places which has brought this, we are the pioneers into bringing the ozone, hyperbaric ozone therapy to India and we have that know-how, technical know-how to do this in the most effective way. Come and try this and have a good health. Thank you.